a grounded good life. So a lot of you know, we left Connecticut about a year and a half ago. We moved to the Yucatan in Mexico. And just like in Connecticut, we have lots of events at our house with people over all the time. So they see heiresses, holistic remedies, you know, macerating, percolating all over the place. But there's one that we have on our kitchen counter. Whenever people come over, they're like, what the heck is that? So that is garlic tincture. So it's garlic cloves macerating in non-GMO vodka. And I wish you could smell it because when you open up the bottle, if you're like across the room, you'd be like, <coughs> it smells If really you're across strong. the border, you could, wherever you are, I guarantee you, if you're in Russia right now, you could smell this. Probably. It's like, it's like potent man, it really is. You might be like, why would you make a garlic tincture? And garlic has so many benefits. It's one of my favorite herbs, even though- For real, she says that all the time about her herb, but for garlic, no, she's, you're, you're consistent about that one. I love garlic, because it's antiviral, antifungal, antiparasitic, antimicrobial, anti like everything. It can help the cardiovascular system. It's great for um, the respiratory system, great for fighting infections, and- Do you yeah. have a story? I do, share it. So I'm majorly an earth element, and if you know the elements, earth people are always like prepared for any situation, like differently than woods. They're like wait, 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 overly prepared for a situation. Would you agree? Yeah. Well, an earth wouldn't agree, but they are overly prepared. But for example, if you're going on a trip for like three days, an earth would probably bring enough clothes for like three weeks or more, bring enough wait. snacks for like a month, and bring like like I always bring like a dark herbal first aid kit with wait, me. Wait, 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 wait! If you're going on a day trip, you do this. I know. I bring like. Because I'm like, what if it snowed? What if it rained? What if it's cold? What if it's not cold? What if I need to wear boots? Like, not really an anxiety thing, just no, more no. like, I feel like I should be prepared for anything that comes my way so I can, like, be dressed appropriately. Right. And maybe provide, like, rain wearer to someone else, too. And yeah. snacks. Yeah. And first aid. So, anyway. <laughs> so, in December, I went to the state of Chiapas with Sandeep, which is like an 11 hour drive. So, about two and a half hours into it, we were in the state of Campeche. And there was like this beach where no one was really there. It just looked really pretty. So we decided to stop. And of course I wanted to go in the water because I was like, I just like going in the water. So I was like running to get into the water because I was so excited. I took my shoes off. And like as soon as I stepped on the rocks, like right by the water, I was like, oh, I see why no one's in this water. And I see why no one is like swimming and no one has their shoes off. Why? Because the rocks were like super, super like jagged. And as soon as my foot like touched the rock, it like cut it in like five places and I was like this is like not even the first day of our trip we're supposed to be like walking around all the time like how am I gonna walk around with like bloody infected foot this whole time good thing you're an earth <laughs> good thing I'm an earth because I was like ooh, in my dork herbal first aid kit I packed homemade garlic tincture so I never used it externally but I was like I don't really have anything else that would uh, that would work so I decided to put it on my foot as like a disinfectant kind of thing so I did my foot smelled really, really garlicky the whole trip. But it's like it, driving around in an Italian restaurant? Kind of. But it didn't get infected. It actually healed really fast, and I could actually walk on it. So it saved the trip. Right. So we're not selling this yet in the United States, but if you're in Mexico, you'd like to get a bottle of it. We'd be happy to help you out. And as always, stay, stay grounded. grounded.